Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the 11-in-1 USB-C hub from Anchor. Now the main reason why I agreed to review this product from Anchor was because I know a lot of people bought the M1 iPad Pro and the M1 iMac, and those things don't really have any ports on it whatsoever, especially on the iMac, they took a lot of stuff away. And then of course on the iPad Pro, you're limited to just the one USB-C port. So I think this hub is going to help out a lot of people, including Including myself and if you guys do want to do a little bit more research regarding USB-C hubs from Anchor I'll leave a link down below they have a bunch of different USB-C hubs so maybe you're someone that doesn't need 11 ports they do have other models with less but like I said there's going to be a link down below if you guys want to research some of the USB-C hubs that they have and find out which one is right for you but anyways let's jump right into the unboxing of the 11 in 1 USB-C hub all right so pretty simple packaging here just white with the Anchor logo in blue little lightning bolt on there and then there's the back it also looks like there's an 18 month free warranty which is always nice so let's take it out of the package here so first up just some paperwork and then we have the actual USB-C hub right here so I gotta say it feels pretty premium so far I like the design here with minimal branding from anchor I hate when companies put tons of branding across the product you've got a braided USB-C cable which is going to make it more durable and now this of course is a 11 in 1 USB USB-C hubs, you are getting a ton of ports on this thing. Specifically, you're going to be getting an HDMI port, a display port, one USB-C data port, three USB-A ports, one Ethernet port, an AUX port, and an SD card slot along with a micro SD card slot. So a lot of different options within this hub itself, which is going to be great for people that have a lot of external devices that they like to connect to things like their iPad Pro or iMac. Myself, I'm planning on buying a DSLR camera next month, so I'm definitely going to to be utilizing that SD card slot. I also like to connect my iPad or MacBook to an external display so having an HDMI slot here is definitely a great thing and it eliminates the need to have a bunch of different dongles. Having one super dongle which would be this guy is definitely going to clean up the setup a little bit but I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the overall build. It's really solid and it feels like it's going to be very durable especially with the braided cable here. Another cool thing that comes with the hub is a little travel pouch too so you just toss it in a bag and then toss it in your tech bag just tuck in the cable too and you can just see you know so it's super convenient and is going to protect this thing from getting scratches because this is a $100 USB-C hub and I definitely want to protect it so it's nice that they included a little travel pouch like this now for a lot of people they're going to be using this USB-C hub for their workflow so now let's get into the features and nitty-gritty details of the 11-in-1 USB-C hub so anchor is claiming that you get 5 gigs per second data transfer speeds which is really good that's kind of like the industry standard for high quality USB-C hubs like this and you also get 4k content at 60 hertz and you also get 4k at 60 with a display port as well so both the HDMI and display port are going to be playing content at the exact same quality levels and with the hub right here you can do a multi-monitor display now of course I can't show you considering I only own one monitor but in about a month's time I'm planning on buying an ultra wide monitor which would be nice to have a multi-monitor display so with this I'll be able to do that next month. The one negative by having a multi-monitor display is that the quality does go down a little bit. Instead of 4k at 60 hertz like you do with a single monitor display it goes down to 2k at 60 hertz which isn't like a huge huge downgrade. To be honest most people probably won't even tell the difference but you are sacrificing a little bit of quality when you do that multi display. Another good thing about this hub is that you get pass through charging which basically means that when you're using the hub itself for external devices you can still charge the main device whether that's maybe an iPad Pro or an iMac the only catch is that the hub itself doesn't come with a charger for the device of course but if you own the device you should have the charger anyway so it's not really like a big deal but yeah that's essentially the 11 in 1 USB-C hub from Anchor a lot of ports to choose from and if you're someone that has a lot of external devices this is going to be a really great product and Anchor didn't pay me to say anything good about this I'm just genuinely impressed with the product itself the funny thing is I was actually looking for a hub because I'm planning on buying a camera like I said I'm also planning on buying that ultra wide monitor so I wanted something like this to have a multi display because that's going to make my workflow just so much better and faster but yeah this thing is a beast like 11 in 1 there's not really a lot of companies that make stuff like this and for hundred dollars I know it sounds expensive which it is but it's going to do a lot for you if you're someone that has a lot of these external devices chances are this is going to be one of the best options that you can find price wise like just imagine if Apple made 
something like this, you'd be looking at like two to 50. So 100 bucks doesn't seem that bad in my opinion. Personally, I'm going to be using the hub with the M1 iPad Pro. This is the main device that I'm using right now. I use it for literally everything like photo, video editing, emails, graphic design, you name it. And when I get my camera next month, I'm definitely going to want to import the pictures from the camera right to the iPad, which I'll be able to do with this. But now let's move on to my final thoughts about the Anchor 11-in-1 hub. I think it's a really great hub for someone that has a lot of external devices. I know I've said this like a hundred times in the video already, but if you're someone that has like a camera, an external display, maybe a microphone, maybe some headphones, something like this is going to be awesome. And since it's just one hub, it's going to do a lot for you versus having like seven different dongles for seven different devices. And it's really minimal. Like it's just a little rectangle. You plug it into your device. It's very minimal and it's got a nice aesthetic to it. The only real negative I have is the price because it is pretty expensive, but you do get what you pay for with tech. And like I said, and like I said, if Apple were to make something like this, you'd be looking at like 200 or 250. For example, in Canada, just for a lightning to USB A adapter, I had to pay, I think it was like $40. Whereas this guy has 10 more ports and it's literally just four times the price of that one lightning to USB A adapter. But I would say it's fairly priced. Like if you're someone that has all of these devices and you need a USB hub, but it is expensive. But if you're someone that's in the market for something like this, this is going to be one of the best deals that you can find. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is one of the best USB-C adapters that I've found online. So guys, if you're in the market for a USB-C hub, I definitely recommend to check this guy out. If you want to do a little bit more research for yourself, definitely check out their website or some Amazon reviews. This is definitely going to be a big part of my workflow and desk setup in the future, especially when that camera and monitor come in. So I'm really looking forward to using this for my workflow. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you do want to pick up the 11 and one USB-C hub. I'll leave a link down below. Other than that, thank you for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.